Since the restoration of the gospel and subsequent printing of the Book of Mormon, most people have taken for granted that the hill Cumorah of the Book of Mormon, from where the prophet Mormon looked out upon his fallen people, is the same hill located near Palmyra in upstate New York, where Joseph Smith, Jr. recovered the gold plates deposited by the prophet Moroni and with God-given power translated ancient writings into what we know today as the Book of Mormon. From its pages we read, Therefore I made this record out of the plates of Nephi and hid up in the hill Cumorah all the records which had been entrusted to me by the hand of the Lord, save it were these few plates which I gave unto my son Moroni. Could there be more than one hill? One where the prophet Mormon hid up the records of his people? and another in New York where Moroni, nearly 36 years after the great battle, buried the portion of the record given to him by his father? If this is true, where is the hill Mormon called Cumorah, and what are the facts surrounding its story? This and other questions have been asked by scholars and students of the Book of Mormon for years. In 1841, John Lloyd Stevens, an adventurous New York attorney, published an account of his travels as an emissary of the United States government to Guatemala titled Incidents of Travel in Central America, Chiapas, and Yucatan. His work included detailed line drawings by a companion Frederick Catherwood of ancient Mayan temples and carved stones called stila, and introduced 19th century readers to the fascinating world of ancient Central American cultures and the artifacts they left behind. Stevens' work was the subject of a book review published in the Times and Seasons, an early LDS church newspaper which encouraged the saints to link the cultures written about by Stevens with those of the Book of Mormon. In the October 1, 1842 issue, editor Joseph Smith, Jr. wrote, It would not be a bad plan to compare Mr. Stevens' ruined cities with those in the Book of Mormon. Light cleaves to light, and facts are supported by facts. The truth injures no one. Since that time, numerous expeditions have traveled to southern Mexico and Central America searching for physical remains of the Book of Mormon. In 1952, the New World Archaeological Foundation was established. In 1961, the NWAF became associated with Brigham Young University which for years has conducted excavations in Chiapas, Mexico. Although staying away from direct Book of Mormon studies, the foundation has gained respect as one of the best organizations doing field archaeological research and provides raw data for others to draw parallels with Book of Mormon events. Most LDS scholars and archaeologists agree that Southern Mexico and Central America, or Mesoamerica, are the lands of the Book of Mormon. This area meets all the major criteria that establishes where it all took place. Criteria such as a written language, archaeological evidence dating to both Jaredite and Nephite times, and geography such as mountains and rivers matching descriptions found in the Book of Mormon. There is also a written secular history paralleling many important Book of Mormon events.